Hello and welcome back everyone to this live demo video series on YouTube with me Anubhav on SAP UI5 flexible programming model with anubhavtrainings.com. In our last episode, we discussed about how to add a microchart to a table control in Fury Elements application. In our today's session, we are going to learn about how to add side effects and also the field controls to the fields. As we've already seen in one of our previous episodes, the side effects are used to adapt your UI right away, refresh the components of your application. Once there are certain button clicks or changes in the data in certain fields. For example, if I am building an insurance application, the moment I change the total sum insured for insurance policy, all the health or probably the age data or age criteria of insurer, insured person, immediately the premium amount should change. This kind of things can be taken care by the help of side effects. In the previous sessions, when we click on the approve or reject travel button, the side effect was changing the status right away on the left hand side. In the same note, today's requirement is whenever a company or a traveler wants to go with a Grow Green initiative to reduce the carbon footprint on the earth, they will go with a bit of increment in their ticket price with a promise from the airline company to plant some tree on the behalf. So in that case, we will go with side effect of a field. So let me go back to our application now in the business application studio. And over here, you can see that we do have a lot of flight information in our data set. If I go to an existing flight and go for edit, you would notice that we do have a checkbox called go green. A traveler consciously decide to go green. In that case, what happens is the airline company give a promise to the traveler that they will be planting some trees on his behalf. But in the return, they need to pay a bit of extra price for the ticket. So when a traveler choose go green, I would like to show here the fees as well as the trees to be planted. And then overall there will be a change, a slight change in the price of the flight ticket or the travel ticket. So we would like to reflect these changes immediately on the UI. Suppose you decide to go green, perhaps I will be planting around 135 trees on this behalf on the four tickets you have in total. And I will be increasing the the total price of the flight marginally for you. So this price should be immediately updated right here along with the, the green fee and trees planted. To be able to do this, we need to apply the side effect on the go green field, perhaps on the go green checkbox. How do we achieve that? To be able to achieve this, we are simply going to go back and add a side effect for this field for go green. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll discard the draft. I switch over back to our, our project in the business application studio. And in the field control section, we are going to add a bit of logic. So let me zoom in a bit so that it will be easy for you to view. All the source code which of this application will be updated in the Google Drive folder. And I will share the Google Drive folder link with you in the description of this video. If you land up to this video directly and by chance miss this entire series, and the previous videos kindly check the description of our current video where I have linked all the previous videos of this live series on YouTube which is absolutely free on UI5 flexible programming model. So let's go ahead now and add an additional requirement or an additional capability on the system to be able to go green and add a side effect for go green field. So I will annotate again our travel entity from the travel service. And this time this will be with a common annotation. And in this annotation, we are going to put it as a side effect type. So I will attach a side effect as part of this. And we will say source property is going to be we can provide multiple properties inside an array. So the property name here is go green. 
that's my checkbox also whenever the booking fees is changed i would immediately want to also change my total price of the booking as well so that is what we would like to add so next thing is we will specify the source entity my source entity here is going to be also booking in case if user also changing any data in the booking table then also my total price has to change so in the entire uh, in all these cases my side effect has to run and update the total price for the for the flight or the travel so we will say target properties which needs to be refreshed after any change to go green flag booking fees or the booking table is done kindly update my travel fees total booking fees so we will update the total price so here we have to specify all the fields which we want to update so i say total price also it should update the green fees and also it should update the trees plant perfect so that is what we will do and now we can save our code so the code is updated let's go back and restart our application so you can see the live loader module is already loading my application now i can come back and refresh the application on the other and we can just click on go button and last time you saw when i was checking the checkbox it was having no impact but let's look at this time i will switch over back to an existing booking entry go for edit and you can notice at the moment the total price is 13484 i will go green you can see i check the checkbox and wow there you go the price the total price is immediately updated to 13619 with a update on the gas the, the, the total green fees and their trees planted is updated similarly if i change the booking fees over here to let's say 250 dollars you will see the total price is also updated immediately accordingly superb next step if you go back down and you also update anything in the booking because we have considered the booking entity as well by chance if i make it 21000 you can see also the total price should automatically update over here in the system yes so any changes done to any of the entities any of the data set related to the side effect fields would update the total price immediately on the ui so that is the benefit of working with side effects and that's why we use side effects our next topic in the current episode is as a as a um, end user you would also want to go ahead with approval or existing travel request as you can see on my screen this particular travel request is already approved or maybe some of them are rejected now what would you expect as a end user if a travel request is already approved or if a travel request is uh, rejected there shouldn't be any possibility for end user to edit any of the data for example if this request is already approved i should not be allowed anymore to change my agency id customer id or the booking fees in fact the begin and end date right but at the moment you can see since it's already approved there is still a possibility that somebody can maliciously go or by mistake the end user might go and modify these field values we don't want that to happen so in a real-time application once a business object is in its final state let's say a sales order has been approved or rejected and there is no more action further required or be allowed on the sales order we would certainly want to go ahead and lock the fields for future updates in these cases we can go with field controls so field control is a great feature in fury elements through the help of that we can control our fields we can say if a travel request is already approved or rejected there shouldn't be any possibility for user in the edit mode to edit certain properties such real-time requirement can be addressed using field control let's go ahead and observe how can we achieve the field control so what i've done over here in my data set if you look at my data set in my demo data i have provided an entity called travel status 
in the travel status you can see here we have open accepted and uh, rejected travel request for open travel request you can see the field control value is 2 2 means we are allowing for editing of any fields in case of a accepted travel request we are saying 3 3 means the fields will become read only user cannot it is not possible for user to do any kind of editing it will become read only and if it is one then it is um, you know mandatory so this is basically the field control status so we will be linking this particular field control from my travel status entity to our fields to be able to do that we can switch over back to our field control dot cds file and i'm going to attach here the field control on my fields so let's do it for booking fees i will say common annotation dot field control travel status entity dot field control so depending on depending on the current travel status of my existing travel request the field control will be automatically assigned in a very similar way we will replicate this code for other fields as well like the begin date the end date the agency fields and the customer fields on the header similarly i would not allow user to even edit the booking information so for that we are also going to go down and add annotation for field control for booking entity so let's annotate the booking entity I will be sharing this entire source code in the description of this video you can just go ahead to my Google Drive link and download this source code to replicate the same source code in your system when you are doing the hands-on by following my video now I am just going to add booking date it should be computed automatically depending on the airline and the flight you choose but for the remaining field we will attach to the field control so we will choose here multiple fields they should not be editable at all if in case the travel request is already approved so we choose connection ID we choose the flight date we choose the flight price booking status everything should be logged actually to carrier ID to customer and here we can just go back and choose the association to the parent to be able to get the status because travel status is part of the parent entity perfect so we are done now you can see we have attached the field control everywhere and this should be enough for us to control the behavior of this field on the system yes okay let's go back to our application now and observe the new behavior according to our requirement i'm going to switch over back let's go for edit and i will first open a already open travel request so we go there go for edit you can see all the booking price booking fees agency customer id dates including the data in the table are editable perfect no problem i discard the draft and now head on to a existing approved booking whereas last time you saw that it was all editable we go back inside go for maximize mode and go for edit and voila this time you can notice that all of my fields are locked user is no more allowed to touch or edit any of the field values at all because we are now having a dynamic field control and this dynamic field control locks everything on the ui because the travel request is already up to date it's already approved 
Yes, since it is approved, nobody is allowed to change anything related to the travel information in our data set. So this is the main advantage when it comes to working with our field control in SAP. Cool. So that is how exactly we can work with field control. As usual, the entire source code is updated in the description of this video. To learn complete end-to-end -end cloud application programming model and Fury elements with us on a basic training, please don't feel free to subscribe anuboutrainings.com. Kindly share, subscribe this channel for more interesting videos like this. And I hope to see you in my next live session, which is day after tomorrow. Thank you so much. See you and goodbye.